Interzoo 2014, I got Greg from ATI North America and Clear Choice uh, Distribution. He's going to tell us about uh, their new ATI lights. Hey guys, welcome. This is the new uh, ATI Sirius, which is our brand new uh, LED fixture here. It's uh, the most efficient and performance driven, or, uh, driven uh, fixture on the market out there. It's a uh, LED only fixture. What's really great about it is it's all in one encompassing. You've got a full fixture and you've got three different sizes you can buy, so you don't have to actually have a modular style system for it. It's a, a one fixture fits kind of all the tanks out there for you. It looks really slick too, uh, really low profile and matches this kind of uh, rimless look, you know. Right. And uh, we're looking at my living room. So. Absolutely, it looks great in my living room. So. When you say that it's uh, uh, really efficient, can you give me more details on how that's achieved? Sure. So it's is a uh, this is our two foot unit or our two module unit, and it's got two clusters inside of it, which you got in under there, and a total of 144 watts, okay. and then enough light for even the most demanding SPS corals out there. And then so when you actually measure the efficiency of the light itself, it's actually the number one efficient LED light, light fixture currently on the market today. Cool. I noticed that, are these lenses in here? Uh, some of these are bigger than the others. So. Uh, they're actually not. It's actually a reflector-based system, and you've got the whites and the blues that are a, a higher output LED, and okay. then you've got the reds and the supplemental actinics and the royal blues that are the, the lower the lower watch LEDs. And you've got a silver kind of coated reflector that uh, provides the good illumination and the good light balance. In fact, that's one of the things that Oliver, the designer of the fixtures, talked about is that the reflector design he feels like gives a much more even spread of light across the entire tank. Uh, versus some of the other fixtures out there which use kind of a lensing system I to agree, magnify the light. I agree, because it's not, uh, I'm not getting that disco ball effect here. It's uh, getting a nice shimmer, but it's uh, not going all crazy. Right, absolutely, absolutely. So really good even distribution of the light, and again, one of the top performers out there in terms of total light output. Excellent. Uh, how do you control it? Right, so you got a couple different options. You've got the uh, built-in controller, which you see here, so you can have kind of a, you know, manual kind of user interface coming you can scroll through you know, easily set through the buttons. They can set through a manual mode or an auto mode and, and run a program for it. And then it also does have a, uh, a link up here so then you can actually control it from a computer-based program. That's a, a web-based program, or not a web-based, excuse me, a Windows-based program currently. And you can then also download firmwares and do a lot of stuff. But then from the controller, from the computer, you can set, you know, really, you know, diverse kind of control programs for them. You can control each individual color spectrum independently. You can actually control the two different clusters independently as well. Oh, really? And then on the larger fixtures, you have, you know, with four and six different, you know, clusters in there, you could even create different kind of atmospheres in different parts of your tank. So you could have your left side of your tank for more, you know, lower light corals and your, your right side of the tank for your higher end corals. I noticed you got one down there that actually has T5s as well as these uh, clusters in it? Correct. Yeah, so that's the uh, LED power module. It's got a ton of light output, definitely for a, a high demanding SPS coral tank. And, and for people who are kind of, you know, feel like LEDs may be lacking a little bit in terms of the color, this really gives you the, the, the benefits of the, the, the best of both worlds with both the uh, LEDs and the T5s and really that really good color punch as well as the control that you get from the LEDs. You know, I've seen so many successful tanks with LEDs at this point that uh, I don't right. buy into it. But at the same time, <laughs> uh, I know I've never failed with T5s either. So, right, uh, right. You know. Definitely, it's to each his own for sure, absolutely. I mean, we run T5s at our tank in our office, and you know, I've seen many, many people who've had very successful tanks with LEDs as well. It's really just personal preference, like a lot of things are in this industry. Uh, what sizes did this come in? So it comes in, it's a little off because it's a European size, but essentially you've got, you know, a size for a two-foot tank, a three-foot tank, a four-foot tank, and a five-foot tank. And so we call them the X2, X4, X6, and X8. And again, they're European size, so it's not quite exactly, you know, two, three, four, and five feet, but that's what you'd use, the X2 for a two-foot tank. The X4 would be for a, a, a three-foot tank. The X6 would be for the four-foot tank. And the X8 then would be for the five-foot long tank. Perfect. Well, thanks for sharing. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Great to see you.